It is my great pleasure to introduce ADBS 2020 partnership report. Since early 2020, ADB has been working intensely with our partners to help our developing member countries respond to the unprecedented challenges brought by the COVID-19 pandemic. I am very pleased that ADB was able to provide bold, agile, innovative support since the onset of the COVID-19 crisis. Even before the WHO declared the COVID-19 outbreak a pandemic in March 2020, we began providing various forms of assistance to our developing member countries, including grants for purchasing essential medical and protective equipment. We followed this in April 2020 with a $20 billion comprehensive response package of technical assistance, grants, and loans to governments and the private sector. Our rapid response created a powerful platform for collaboration and mobilization of resources from ADP's broad network of partners. In 2020, ADP recorded its highest ever level of co-financing of $16.4 billion. Of this, $11.1 billion was for our sovereign operations and $5.3 billion was for non-sovereign operations. Co-financing for our COVID-19 response accounted for two-thirds of all co-financing, reaching $10.8 billion. We mobilized significant amount, $7.8 billion from partners through our new financing tool for quick budget support, the COVID-19 pandemic response option, or CIPRO. CIPRO provided additional fast dispersing financing for our developing members as they sought to cushion the impact of the pandemic on their populations and economies. The region's recovery depends critically on access to safe and effective vaccines. To ensure this, ADB also launched a new $9 billion initiative in December 2020, the Asia-Pacific Vaccine Access Facility, or AVVAX, which is rapidly being rolled out across the region to provide significant financing including from partners for governments to procure and deploy safe and effective vaccines. Looking ahead, we will need to focus our support on ensuring a green, resilient, and inclusive recovery as the pandemic recedes. This will involve support to countries so that they can pursue low carbon development trajectories and address job losses and increase inequalities due to the pandemic, including the disproportionate impact of the crisis on women and girls. Partnerships will be central to this effort. ADB's ability to convene, facilitate collaboration, and drive momentum behind the recovery effort will be essential for the region's success. So, I'd like to thank those we have worked with over the last year during times of such daunting challenges. I look forward to continuing to work with all of our partners as we overcome the COVID-19 pandemic and achieve a prosperous, inclusive, resilient, and sustainable Asia and the Pacific.